All right, sorry about this, guys, but we kind of screwed up the laptop recording, so the audio is going to be whatever we picked up off the camera. Yeah, so the uh, we didn't get our, our, our MP3 recording on the headsets like we were supposed to this week. Something mm -mm. fucked up. So hope you can live with this audio. Uh, it's as much as the camera picked up, and... Enjoy! Enjoy! Because <laughs> that's all you're going to get. That's all you're going to get, suckers! <sighs> Bye. <laughs> See ya. Hello and welcome back! Today is Wednesday, May 30th, and this is episode 45 of NoobTube, a weekly independent podcast where I'm having a midlife gaming crisis. Don't you already have a Mustang? You don't understand that I had an unflappable faith in the power and majesty of Square Enix, mm -hmm. and over the last couple months... My faith has been shaken with crappy release after crappy release. You know, maybe if you got a ponytail and uh, an earring, you'd feel a lot better. No! Myself. Why have you forsaken me, Square Enix? It's too bad. I'm Tobin Kozire. And I'm Yuzo Watsunabe. This week we are talking about Odin Sphere on the PS2, as well as Dawn of Mana by, of course, Square Enix. No! Why? Of course, Pirates of the Caribbean on every single console known to man, Dino Dash, and New York Times Crossword on the DS. Word. And new, re new releases include... Uh, new releases. New releases <laughs> include Forza 2, uh, Shadow Realm on the PC and Xbox, Crush on the PSP, uh, PSP, you guys heard that? PSP? Um, Mario Party 8 and a Tamagotchi game on the Wii. Mm, you're playing that I'll game. I'll be playing that. <laughs> As always, we'll finish up with our community section, but let's get started with our featured game, Odin Sphere on the PS2 by Vanilla uh, Ice. <laughs> <laughs> Vanilla Games. Yes, stop, collaborate, and listen. <laughs> Vanilla Games is back with a brand new invention. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and here he's doing hardcore now. <laughs> oh, man. Sorry. Uh, so this is Odin Sphere. This is a game by uh, published by Atlas, but, uh, but a company in Japan called um, Vanilla Games. All right. And it is god-awful beautiful. Do I know up. what vanilla means here? <laughs> <laughs> Plain and simple. It's like Vanilla Games sounds very insulting. It's just like, a so. new release by Tedious Games. <laughs> Monotony <laughs> software. <laughs> that would be awesome. Yes, yeah, so, but I mean, if, if anything, this game is nothing like being vanilla at all. It is, it's gorgeous. It is I have very, yet, to, I have, I haven't beautiful. seen a game that looked this good in a long time because they did everything via sprites. Yeah. And when's the last time you seen an all sprite game, dude? I haven't. Oh, and fuck. Oh. All right. No, we're doing the drinking game. I say, dude. He said, dude. And when Tobin says, uses a bitch. No, we just oh, just bitch. Sorry, my bad. My but bad. that all, all right. works too. All right, yeah, drink. Mm. Just so you know. But again, Odin Sphere. It is. Uh, it's kind of weird. I mean, there's a couple of interesting things about it. It is a side-scrolling, not platformer, but action game. Yeah. So it almost reminds me like a really crappy fighting game. In, in well, that's what I was gonna say. It's not even so much an action game as it's a a, a button mashing. Yeah. Fighter. A uh, brawler. brawler. What kind of brawler? But it's it's all one dim two dimensional. There, you can't even yeah. go like left or right. And you know they kind of did that for the sprites, I'm sure, to do all that sort yeah. of thing. But it's weird because you're you're in a storybook, yeah. And every chapter is like a different level, and every level that you're on is circular. That was actually <laughs> kind of cool. That was, like that, that was one of the neater elements um, of it. I mean, first off, there's a lot of chatter. Not as much as some games, but there's that's, a lot. I'll give you that. The, the intro was a pretty just long. kept going and kept mm -hmm. going and kept going. And the, and the funny thing was is. Even once the intro finished, you'd like be walking around. There's like, all these people you're supposed to talk to, just yeah. like any other RPG. Oh, of course, yeah. And then, if, like sometimes in RPGs, they'll say something that might be somewhat relevant to anything yeah. you're doing. I'd be talking to people, and they're like, "I'll bring a nice cup of tea up to your room later." And then they'd be like, "Okay, thanks." <laughs> you're like, right. What the fuck? Well, I'm in my room. Where's my tea? Right. Yeah, I mean, they're, they're gonna actually give it to yeah. you. Yeah. So, um, but gameplay. So, what do you think? Okay. So the gameplay about it. Okay. So the, let me first start off this. I wanted to like this game so much. Yeah, yeah. Because the style of it was really amazing. The art direction was really cool, and it just looks so good. I yeah. just, uh, you know, just implement and make the gameplay good, and I'll love this game, and I'll give it a total thumbs up. So how to work? But they fucked up. Yeah. It was. It was. It was boring. It was kind of simplistic. Yeah. They added a lot of interesting kind of uh, gameplay elements where you get seeds. Yeah. And you plant the seed before you start fighting, 
And as you kill guys, they release these little uh, phase phasers or whatever like that, and you have to hold down a button to absorb. They call them like phosons. Phosons like or something. Phos yeah. Time. <laughs> like, phoson. Yeah. Phos soup. Yeah. And um, you would do that, and then you would kill a bunch of guys, and they release the little like you know balls, and then you hold down your like your sucking power. Like <laughs> yeah. And then you'd wait, and then other things would be hitting you. And I'm like, oh, okay. Yeah. Um, and I mean, like, why, the, why the plant that? thing was kind of neat. So it'd be it like, it would suck in the life force yeah. automatically. That yes. was what I liked. Oh, one of them did, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, you know, the, the, the having to stand there and suck in the life force yourself is fucking stupid. Well, you do, and you do that to, like, charge a, a gauge, which allows you to do your special, your special moves. attack, yeah. And it's just like, why don't you just have it just come just in? Why do come. I have to? It doesn't make any sense. Yeah. And then you have the plant, and you do that. It sucks in the foson automatically, which is cool. Yeah. And it grows berries. Mm -hmm. And then you have to knock the berries off and pick them up and then use them to gain health back. Mm -hmm. Um, and uh, so I mean, uh, I? those mechanics I thought were actually pretty cool. Hmm, interesting. So I actually really enjoyed the whole idea that you could, you know, buy different like armor and put it on, and your mm -hmm. armor would go up, and you could, you know, grow standard berries. RPG, and yeah. It was it was standard RPG, but it was more interactive with the world. Like I like the idea of planting the plant and harvesting it during the fight, like out of the lives of your enemies or whatever. Mm -hmm. But the combat was, was so fucking boring <laughs> that I didn't care about the rest of the game. Like <coughs> I thought it was really neat at first because. Yeah. It's a bunch of mini-battles. So you show up at a world... Uh, which is all circular. Yeah. And you just walk around. Yeah. But what's neat is you can hold down uh, the left trigger, um, or the left shoulder button, and it shows you a map of, of the whole world. I think and it always shows up. Because you have a little mini-map on the top right. Is there another map which shows yeah. you, like, oh, cool. cool so cool. You, you hold down the left shoulder, and the whole screen becomes a map, and it's this tree where it's just oh, like... Oh, that's what you're talking about. Yeah, yeah if yeah, you yeah. take this exit, you take this exit, and it's this whole thing, and mm -hmm. everything's just a short little battle. You go and you beat up a couple guys, you yep. leave and go somewhere And else. you get graded on it, too. Yeah. So, like, at the end of the battle, you say, okay, you took this as much damage, you killed them, these guys in this amount of time, and all that, you get a rating A, B, right. C, D, F, anything like that. So, um, all of the mechanics behind it, I was thinking, I was thinking about it as I was playing it, I was like, wow, this would be kind of neat. Yeah. Um, in a game with good combat, where it's just like mm. imagine a game if it was like, like God of War. Sure, or just sure. imagine any world where it's like say, say that there was God of War style fighting. You'd show up and you fight a couple guys, and then you'd get a choice on where to go. And, and you can upgrade all of your equipment. Upgrade your equipment. Like, yeah, that would be really cool. So, but if I, like what I'm saying is like if it's a 2D game, why couldn't they use real 2D fighting skills? Mm -hmm. you know what I mean, if it was if it was even at the basic level Street Fighter 2 fighting yeah. moves and things like that were. It, it feels like that. It's just like, that'd be a lot of fun. Yeah. I would love to pay an RPG that's Street Fighter. Yeah, that's true. You know what I mean? Because there was only, I mean, in this, you could attack on the ground, yep. you could throw something at them, you or you combo. could jump up and attack. Yeah, and you have combos, which is like, hit the button four times. Right, but it wasn't um, like, hit like, you know, X triangle circle. Yeah. It was just like... Or like semi-circle, half circle, hit, 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 hit. or do Haryuken. Yeah. You know, you don't have any of those moves, and it's like... You're just button yeah, you one know? button. The potential of this was great because the art was amazing. Yeah. It, it, I, I cannot stress enough. The art and the music and all of that stuff was beautiful. Because can you imagine how many individual sprites they had to do to do some of those crazy. animations? It was crazy. It um, looked so good. I mean, like the the big dragon. Oh yeah, like, it looked yeah, yeah. I mean, it took up half the screen, oh, yeah. and the, the mini map was really neat, where it would show you kind of a silhouette, silhouette of where yeah, yeah. the enemies were. <laughs> so you always kind of knew what was going on. I mean, there was so much good. Yeah, there was so much good. I know. It, and that's the thing, you know, it almost makes me want to say, hey, go rent it for yeah. a couple of days just to see it. But you're not going to want to play it that long and yeah. don't even think about buying it, but I'm not going to recommend it because it's, it's just not fun. No. I was playing it for like an hour and a half and I'm like, good, get better, come on, get better. Yeah. But it yeah, I played it, it, I played it a lot last night um, <sighs> just because I, I kept thinking it would get better. You yeah. know, I'd, I'd defeat the dragon, I'd defeat this, or I'd defeat You get that. like another couple of moves or you get some cool weapons or something. Yeah. But it was kind of, it got repetitive and it got hard. I noticed it got really hard at, yeah. at one point and I was like, I could like you know make it so I can learn the moves and do it, but I don't I don't sense any any anything getting better. Yeah, you know. And I and I could see what they were doing right because there'd be several levels where I'd show up and fight the boss and I'd just get my ass handed to me. Yeah, and I'd be like, okay, I shouldn't do that. And then uh, you could like run around the world and because yes. they're from behind. And, I mean, but and the, the cool thing too is like if you die during a level, you start at the beginning of the level. That was nice. See, there's like and you could save and you yeah. could do all that stuff, but it all auto saved and, and it took a lot of the frustration. There was very little frustration in the game. That's true. Except for um, the frustration in that it wasn't very fun. Yeah. <laughs> that was the frustration <laughs> That is, that is a sense like, of frustration. <laughs> oh, I'm not really liking this. Yeah, it's too bad. So, um, you know, it's, it's reluctant, reluctant, but I have to give it a thumbs down. Yeah, I'm going to give it a thumbs down. Unfortunately. Unfortunately. Uh, give it a shot, rent it, see if you like the combat. Because here's the thing is, if you like that combat, the rest of the game is yeah. spot on. If you really like retarded combat, then yeah. you might love this game. If you have terrible taste, you'll love this game. You'll love it. <laughs> <laughs> give it a shot. Yeah, I mean, if you if that, do not is, buy it, if you appreciate the beauty in games and yeah. the, and, the, and the story, you can get into the story. The story was kind of, eh. but yeah. you can get into the story and you like just go through the. Th maybe you'll enjoy this game, but. Nah.
I gotta tell you, by the time I got to like chapter two or <laughs> four, yeah. it'd be like it'd be like, "Hello, my daughter." I'm like, start skip scene. <laughs> I let you do it. Yeah, it did let me skip. Which uh, so you have no idea what was going on. Then. Nah, I know. I knew. I knew exactly what was going on. I was beating people up. Yeah, and you were not enjoying yourself. Not enjoying myself. Oh, uh, it's too bad. So Odin's fear. That is bad. We have a different game that you played yep. on the 360, I but it, I believe it appeared on. I don't know, seven consoles? Everything. Everyone but, I think, GBA. So, Pirates of the Caribbean, um, I thought it was kind of fun. So it, it, it kind of, it, it threw together Whoa. some some different platformy elements. There's, there's um, I mean, it, it's fun in a very simple way. Like, my expectations were low. Hmm, that's good. So Always good. You know, the combat, they actually start adding a couple things to it. It's not just button mashing. Mm -hmm. They would have, um, if somebody flashes red, they're going to attack you, and then you can go into a hold, or you can go into a counterattack. It's like wrestling almost? Well, no, I mean, it's just, it's just, I'm just saying that the combat was deep. Oh. It wasn't, it wasn't just hack and slash. Gotcha, it was gotcha. like... But it wasn't and, probably on God of War level. No, no, no. Like okay. But I mean, you know, it's, it's kind of neat things where it's like, if you grab somebody and you're standing near a ledge and you throw them, they'll go over the ledge. So I mean, it's Ooh. not just, you're not just... In this stupid little sandbox, the world okay. kind of feels reactive. You can pull up, you know, pick up s daggers and throw them. Is that a majority of the game, though? Or are you spending a lot of your time just doing like brawling, fighting people, or is there puzzle elements, or like platformy stuff? It's mostly like brawling. They they try to put in some puzzle stuff, uh -huh. um, which I really wish they'd had more of. So hmm. <laughs> there'd be like seriously, there'd be puzzle things where they're like, um, you know, sabotage the hangman's noose, and you're like, oh, interesting. And then the, and then the camera would be like. <laughs> Here's There's the hangman's <laughs> noose. You just walk up to it and push A, and he's just like, eh, sabotaged. Nice. So the, it, it ended up, <laughs> it ended up basically, you know, being mostly fighting. Yeah. Um, it did so look pretty. I mean, from the screenshots of the 360 version, it did look pretty. I must yeah. say. And there was this distinct point when it became not fun for me. Like how long in? Uh, I played it like. Three hours? Yeah, so like two hours in, one hour in, yeah, well, half an hour in, <laughs> <laughs> two minutes. I'm no, no, no. Hour. So I, I, I really enjoyed the first couple hours of okay. it, um, and then you get to this point where you start being able to trade between characters. So oh, instead okay. of just yeah. playing as Johnny Depp, I had sure. to play, and Orlando Bloom was there too, and oh, they're like, he's lame. So he sucks anyway. <laughs> he sucks as a character as well as a game character. So, so you get to this point where you're playing, and you're supposed to keep both of them alive. So, and oh, you're like, so they're both together, and he's like, uh, and you can push yeah. the button and switch between them. Gotcha. Okay. So there is absolutely no feedback on how the other person's doing. Hmm. There's no like health bar. There's no hmm. like warning noises. Does he look like he's bleeding at well, all. Or <laughs> I mean, so basically, what ends up happening is I I ran off and I started to pull a switch and it was just like bam 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 level over. Yeah. I'm like what? I look back and he's dead in the ground. Oh yeah, yeah. So whenever you're standing near him, he's sitting there fighting people. And yeah, if you he's run away okay. at all, he's dead. <laughs> so so you what it ends up yeah. being is you like run a little bit and then like switch to the other guy and like run a little bit and switch to the like other guy and run a little bit. Each other. That's, yeah, that doesn't sound like fun. And it went immediately from like, oh, this is cool, I'm enjoying myself, to fuck this game. Wow, man, you have very little patience. I really do. I really do. Um, but I mean, I, I know if I was a kid, I'd be like, mm, okay, well, sure. whatever. I, mean, I kept playing after that, but sure, I could see that more and more things started heading mm, in that direction. Okay. Because apparently, did like, they add like, didn't they add like a bunch of other game elements to it too, or is it really just all brawling? I thought I saw some like there's stuff. there's sword there's sword fighting, which is kind of cool. Okay. So um, you can counterattack people, attack up middle and down, uh -huh. um, and then you can like sword uh, counterattack and then attack them. Is so it rhythmy or is it reflexy? It's reflexy. Okay. okay. Uh, mm. So the dueling aspect was actually kind of cool because there's these mm. things where you can do like unblockable attacks sure. and counters, and you build up a, a, a bar of energy and um, so right. that was so I mean. Let's tell me this: If it didn't have the Cars of Caribbean theme or license, would you like the game? I'd probably be less forgiving because I really like pirates. Because <laughs> that's what I'm thinking. Because I remember I, I was I was I hemming you, and I'm like, yeah, dude, I just saw Pirates Three. It's awesome. I'm gonna go play. I'm gonna see Officer at Pirates Three. Yeah, yeah. And then you got it and you played it. And I'm like, okay, how much did your love of the movie affect how you thought of the game? See, you know, I would say it's not a great game, but it's a good franchise game because normally, mm. like we've seen, I eat in that it's not really terrible. Yeah. Okay. And because we've seen these games lately where they do this thing where they try and throw in ten different kinds yeah, yeah. of fighting Spider-Man, Spider yeah, Spider and they're all bad. And in this one, they're all not bad. Okay. They're not great, but in every single one of them, you're like, oh, this is kind of cool. The dueling's kind of okay. cool. The fighting's kind of cool. You know, it's just like, mm. and the fact, and they got all the voice actors from the movies. That's good. That's key. really cool. That's key. You know, the the dialogue and everything is funny and it's well yeah. delivered. And okay, well, I mean, I, if you frame it like that, if you frame it like, okay, it's a movie licensed game, so it already has negative points. Yeah. But it doesn't suck. So it's okay. For a movie license, I say so, it's good. So here's the thing. 
would you recommend it to people? I would recommend to rent it. <laughs> okay. I would say, actually, I say thumbs up for rental. Oh, thumbs up to a licensed game. Yeah. I think it's a noob tube first. It might be. It might be. It might be. Um, um, I didn't play it. I don't think I will. But uh, <laughs> uh, we will leave it at that. <laughs> I, I did. I did, however, also rent the Wii version. Oh yeah. And. I did not like it because it was What's very... The, is the, so they basically just added the waggle yeah, for absolutely no reason. Exactly. So all the fighting that I enjoyed for the depth while oh, I was on that thing, it was just like, swing up, swing like this, swing around like this, swing, yeah, you know, it's it just, just... And I was playing, I was like, I was like oh, this is okay. not going to last very long. <laughs> I'm not enjoying this. I went right back to Blockbuster. Yeah. So. Um, so does it follow the plot of the movie pretty well? Uh, not at all. Oh, nothing having to do with the movie. Really? Yeah. Interesting. Okay. It was a whole different side plot from what I was. So kind of like so, it's like okay, here's the movie. Here's point A, point B. Oh, point B eight and a half. It goes. Well, into yeah, which is why I kind of wanted to play more of it because um, I probably will play a little bit more of it because I'm curious where it's going because mm. they've got this whole other thing where it's like Johnny Depp's escaping from prison and then they're trying to sabotage the hangman and blah blah blah. So it's like they're trying to rescue pirates from somewhere. Mm. Mm. Yeah, mm. We'll it see. has nothing to do with the movie. Nothing at all. Okay, really. well that's uh, interesting. Yep. Parts of the Caribbean, uh, new tube first. Thumbs, Thumbs up, up rental. Wow. Yeah. I would not Hell recommend not buy. buying it. All right. Uh, what do we have next? We oh. have New York Times crossword yeah, yeah. on the DS. You know, so remember I didn't get to play. I'm I so know, sad. I know, I know. So you got to get, you got to get your hands on it because yeah. this is one game that I'm going to keep in my pack. You know what I mean? Yeah. So there's going to be like, you know, my, my holding case. I'll have like one, two, three, like four different slots. Yeah. I've taken out like Tetris, I think, for mm. this game. So this game is 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 crosswords done right. For the DS. So it's as good as we thought it'd be. Oh yeah, exactly. So you would go around and what kind of sucks is if you use the, just the defaults, you have all this crap on your screen where the stylus is going to be. Okay. You have all these like huge buttons which obscure the, the puzzle, yeah. like you know menu and property options and all that mm. kind of stuff. You can turn all that off, which is great. Mm -hmm. So all you have is then is the puzzle, which is kind of a zoomed in version of the puzzle. And then up top, when you hit on a number, it'll be like you know five across. And then up top, it'll say five across to show the full, uh, you know, blanks and all that stuff and the clue. Yeah. And then, you, you know, you a just click, box. click, click. And then on the bottom right, there'll be an actual, a, an area where you can write letters. Yeah. And the handwriting recognition is, is decent. Yeah. It's uh, about on par with um, graffiti. Okay. So, actually, I was a little better at graffiti than I was this. Because I would do ends and it wouldn't work. I was going to say, because some, some of the things with the, um, the brain trainers... Their graffiti recognition was pissing me off. Yeah, this one is actually pretty decent, cool. from what I can tell. Uh, only a few letters gave me trouble, like N. Couple yeah. of so how, how deep do you think it is? Like how many? Well, that's the thing. How many so crosswords does that built in? It has a lot. I don't know the exact number, but I guess it's easy to store that shit. That's hell not, yeah. I mean, I mean right? It's just crossword. <laughs> You gotta have like black spots and numbers and yeah. clues. All right, so that could be that much. I think it's in the hundreds, if not thousands. Okay, so it's a lot. But it's awesome because there's almost like a career mode, yeah. which takes you like through the week. So you start off on Monday, which is the easiest yeah. of your times, and then it goes to Sunday, which is the hardest. So, so what happens if you can't figure it out? What's the hint thing like? So they have hint. I, I actually didn't use it because I didn't want to. Damn. So I went through all Monday, and I like it was Monday's freaking hard. The New York Times crossword is not fucking it's, around. Uh, that's what I mean. But Monday's the easiest, so I'm like, yeah. okay, um, I need to do Mondays for a little while. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not oh, gonna be able so to do multiple Mondays. Uh, yeah, well, you can pick. You can do the quick uh, mode, puzzle mode. You yeah, say, okay, yeah. what level do you want it? But if nice. you want to do a week at a time, you do the Monday, then you do Tuesday, yeah. Wednesday, so on. Yeah. But get this dude has multiplayer. What? Yeah, so you can do multiplayer, and they have two different modes. They have cooperative mode, yeah. where you can do the same puzzle, and you're just filling shit in while they're filling shit in over oh. wi not, not Wi-Fi over you know local. Which so is we awesome. can't we can't do it like at each other's houses like we can't. No, explain. unfortunately. Because how cool would that be? Seriously, you and I are sitting on the couch. I'd be like hundred miles oh, apart. Oh shit! Um, just like all of a sudden, just like boom! Like, oh! oh. <laughs> I think you have a score. I, I, again, I don't, I don't know how that works. Like but Tobin is a five-letter word oh, for awesome. Uh, <laughs> It's also a five-letter word for bitch. Oh, oh. oh, I didn't oh say it. it was you. Oh, it was me. That's right. But I'll drink anyways. Yeah. Okay. Um, and they also have uh, the co-op mode as well as a versus mode. So yeah. my understanding is you Finish take the same puzzle, puzzle whoever because there's a timer that goes along and it keeps track of you know how long it takes. So it's really well done. I think they'll have a puzzle off at PAX this year. Mm. A crossword puzzle off. Wow. Is it just two-player? It's just too okay, so that well, won't so happen. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. Like and it would take a long like, time. Yeah, yeah, I mean, because yeah, yeah. like I, I think I got ninety percent of the puzzle filled, and I'm like, holy shit, it's forty five minutes later. Wow. <laughs> you know I mean? So I'm gonna keep it on. It's gonna be a great travel so one. I, I love it. I I'm cannot. definitely gonna get this, and I want to do the whole like I want to try playing with my girlfriend, where we can actually mm. kind of you know work on it together. And that see would be if that's yeah. Right. You can actually get her to to use her. Yes. 
I bought her a DS when we went to Japan two years ago, uh, and she played it for Mario Kart, and it's been sitting gathering dust ever that's since. Too bad. I think. Well, I think it's going to be good because they did the crosswords right, and I can't recommend it enough. Nice. Thumbs up. Awesome. I will definitely try it. Okay. So, uh, Dawn of Mana. So this is the game. This is yet another game, rather like another. Rogue Galaxy and a couple <laughs> that uh, has shaken your faith. I find your lack of faith disturbing. I know. So, <laughs> Squeenix has just taken a big dump on my chest. Ah, yet again. Like, ever since... You know what? It, it, it was ever since Final Fantasy XII. Yeah, you didn't like that. I didn't like it, and you did, which is the uh, weirdest thing. I know. I and then ever since it. that, every game that's come out by well, Squeenix... Did you like one of them? You like, well, you like Chocobo Tales a little bit, right? Mm. Mm. Okay, so what... I mean, yeah. I used to just like I, you know, I played Final Fantasy X for like a hundred hours. I played Final mm -hmm. Fantasy VII. You know, I played um, mm -hmm. Kingdom Hearts. I played. Oh, you like Kingdom Hearts too? Uh, That's right. Dragon Quest VIII. Yep, uh, Dragon Quest Heroes, Rocket Slime. Yeah, Rocket Slime. Like? So, I mean, there was this. There was a full. I mean, I was a Squeenix oh. bitch for a long time. Uh, oh, oh. <laughs> damn you! Mm. But lately, it's just been garbage, garbage, garbage. And yeah, this is garbage. You, you tried this oh, too. Oh shit! Yeah, I did. So you like we we so I bought um, Odin Spear because we said okay, look, there's two PS2 games. I'll buy Odin Spear. Yeah. You buy Dota Mana, but yeah. you want to get it launched, and we trade it. I got the shit into that deal. Yeah, you did. It was fifty, it was ten bucks more. Yeah. <laughs> so so that was only forty bucks. It's it's a it's a three D world. You're running around <clears throat> fighting people. It's kind of platformy slash. It's it reminded me a lot of um, like what Zelda was trying to do. Yeah. It, it, it very Zelda esque. Yeah. Because of the combat. So. The, the 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 controls are really squishy. Like you don't, yeah. you don't feel reactive at all. No, when you not jump. at all. And it has this really asinine combat thing where it's just like you get more points if you surprise people. So the whole time <laughs> no, they're you're in like panic. they're in panic mode. So the whole time you're like running up and trying to throw boulders it's at monsters. So weird. You have a special attack which is just shove. Yeah. And the thing is, like, it's a 3D game. So you have to go behind rocks and logs and then line up your camera so you're kind of pointing at them. Yeah. And then when you hit it, it doesn't always go straight. It no. goes to the left, it goes to the right, and you're like... Most of the time it so never goes anywhere no. near where you want no, it to no, go. You're just like running around pushing stuff and then you're like trying to toss rocks and logs and shit around. And then around. these little mushroom guys are all like, okay, I'm in panic mode, so they have a little shiny number up there which is going down. Yeah. So then you kind of hit them and then like candy falls out. Yeah, and you get more, uh, of the, more health. The, the health points. Um... And Items. Uh, there is nothing fun about the combat in this game. There's like you know the jumping around platformy aspect wasn't terrible. There was a lot was of things. It was really bad. See, like I see, I don't, I don't think you had a problem with it, but I had a problem with a big time with the camera. Yeah. Because I, I was going that. around and I was like trying to jump on this one ledge to you know do ledge jumping. Set yeah. stuff you see in like Tomb Raider, any game. Yeah. And I was missing it constantly. And I mm. played platformer games for a long time, but I would do the, the the camera with the right stick and try to align myself and and all that stuff, and I'd be like putting myself in a corner. Yeah. You know, it, it was just terrible. Um, so the combat was just not fun it was really Ugh. stupid and crappy there was a lot of this weird like when you're trying to shoot things at people you're trying to do the shoulder buttons mm -hmm. and you just lock ons to oh the, get this so you, you have pull lock -ons the left trigger to lock on to, to, to monsters and then you have a different lock on for items yeah. and I would always get them confused I'd be like I see some guy I like it and then like oh I want to attack this mushroom guy yeah. oh there's a lock <laughs> but, what's, but what's even better is once you get the lock once you once you start the lock for items it yeah. stays on until you unlock it yes so yes, yes, you yes. hit lock uh, you're going to push a log into an enemy the enemy comes running at you and you're like oh like you said yeah, you I'm trying to attack the log it's like oh there's a fucking tree oh there's a rock there's whatever and the enemy's like ah <laughs> Oh, dumb! Yes, bad controls. Terrible. No bad, bad, bad. It, it, and the thing is, like I was telling you earlier, it's like, look, there's tons of games that have got the fighting down. You have God of War, you have Ratchet and Clank, Ninja Gator, you have Ratchet and Clank, you have Prince of Persia. Just copy them. Yeah. If you can't figure out a better way to do it, just copy them. Just Ugh. rip them off. Because I mean, I'm getting really sick of bad combat mechanics. They just yeah. feel mushy. They feel Very they don't mushy. feel right. They don't feel fun. Yeah. Like I want to swing a sword, see something, hit something, and like go oh, yeah. Yeah. But I, I never get that. With this Those game. games, the games that that feel the best are like it feels like it's not like you push the button and you watch them swing. It feels like as you push the button they yes, swing. Exactly. So like exactly. boom, boom, boom. So yes. it's like when your thumb is hitting that thing, you're hitting somebody yeah. else. So I mean, what is it? Is it the question of the delay? Is it the timing? It's is bad it the coding? Is it the animation? I don't know. Like I, I see, I don't have to put my finger on what exactly causes the problem, but these guys did it wrong. Yeah. They fucked it up. Yeah. And you know, and the storyline is just the same old shit. It's the the young kid with a girl companion who you know is gonna you're gonna fall into love with later. They have it in every game, like Square Enix Phoenix game. Yeah. Um, some sort of magical tree and spirits, which is like the the, the hero who looks exactly like Cloud. 
uh, who looks exactly like uh, what is the guy's name? Jan, Jan. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, whatever in, in Final Fantasy Twelve. Spiky blonde <laughs> hair hero. Uh, very guy. effeminate. Yeah. Um, I, I, you know, I don't understand what the appeal. Of, I mean, that's like the Japanese style. Yeah. But why is every guy effeminate? I don't know. It's weird. <laughs> it's just stupid. <laughs> that so game yeah. sucked. So yeah, this game is. Uh, God damn it, you guys! Seriously. <laughs> I give it's like, you're like George Lucas, right? I give you so much. I give you the benefit of the doubt. I'm like, if your movie is just not a street, a, like turd in my mouth, mm-hmm. I will enjoy it. And it's just like, here you go, buy it, and you you spend fifty dollars. I spent fifty it. bucks. This is going on eBay this weekend. Yeah, and I'm hoping yeah. that somebody, some dumbass, will pay me somewhere near the the you know ticket price for yeah, it. Yeah, we'll see. Oh hey, do you <laughs> want to buy uh, Donna Mana? No. <laughs> I'm returning that to you. And I want Otis here back because I actually might play that a little more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Um, so, yeah. So, that's Dawn of Mana. I think it's two thumbs down. Big thumbs down. Big thumbs down. Uh, that's really unfortunate. Next so game. Tell me about Diner Dash. Oh, Diner Dash. So, man, dude. So, this is one of those casual games. It's very um, very similar to Cake Mania. Yeah. And it deals with a woman called Flo, who mm-hmm. is a businesswoman. It's kidding. <laughs> this is all from the story. <laughs> Wait, does, Flo, does Flo come to town? <laughs> Every month. <laughs> So um she's a oh. <laughs> yeah God, administration joke yeah so um she's a businesswoman she's all hassled she goes I gotta get out of here she sees a restaurant she goes I want to open it and she wants to be the waitress of it fair enough why not and this is all done via a comic and it's all shown but anyhow the gameplay is she's a waitress mm-hmm. and she needs to go serve people sit, seat people down serve people uh, the food pick mm-hmm. up their order give it to the cook pick up the food give it to the people pick up their plates go there gotcha, give gotcha. them dessert you know all this stuff so how is it different than that last one we played so it's very it's different in the sense that it's a little more fun what was that called uh, it was called Cake Mania Cake Mania Cake Mania seemed uh, a little uh, what is it lack the depth yeah so with Cake Mania you like make the you, you see what cake they want you pick it yeah. you make it yeah. and you give it to them this one has other things where, like, you know, they may or may not want dessert. Mm. So you go to the dessert place and you give them. You, um, they have the, the classes of people, they're like, some people wait really long all the time to eat. Old people, you know, take a long time to eat. <laughs> Students take a long time to eat. They're just, and like, you, they're just like smoking and drinking coffee for like six hours and they leave you a ten cent tip. Exactly, yeah, they say the tip is low as well. Yeah. And they say, you know, like, whatever, teenagers will fucking do Dine and, dine and Dash. And oh. <laughs> no, just, no, not really. But, you It'd know. be great living in a tackle <laughs> mood. Like, yeah, like, gotcha, bitch! That would be awesome. Yeah. Uh, but you know, but it's fun because, you know, it's one of those things where you're actually trying to do, like, 20 different things at once. Yeah. You're trying to see them. And they have this other thing where they're color-coded. So you have, um, you have the, you know, one guy's red, one guy's green. Yeah. When you sit them down at a table, those seats turn red and green. Okay. Okay? Next time you see a red person or a green person or a red and green person, if you sit them there, you get a bonus. Oh. So it's almost tetris yeah, in that sense because you're doing that. And you also have seats of two... Tables with just two people, tables with four, tables with six. Sure, sure. And you're trying to say, oh, hey, I need it. There's a, like only two people waiting, but six people is only open. Mm. So do I put them there or do I wait for one yeah, of them to clear? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. And then there's like kids, families. You got to put them there and then they cry. If you, unless you get them a high chair and you give them the high chair, Holy crap. and then they spill the drink because they're fucking. Right, so this is you know, a lot more. This is a lot I'm more complex. You, it's really complex. I was like, I was a waiter back in high school. It's mm. like this sounds very familiar to me. So maybe it might not be fun. I don't I was know. Like, oh god, <laughs> I got a real job for a reason. <laughs> but but that's the thing. I was like, I'm like, you know, it's one of those pick up and play games, and I'm like, I'm just gonna pick it up, and then I look at the clock later, two hours later, nice. I'm like halfway done with the game. So you really enjoy it. I love it. And I, well, I like Cake Mania too, but I like this one maybe twice as much. Good. Yeah, because uh, I didn't like Cake Mania very much. So yeah, I think you should give this a try. I mean, I don't know how much parts of the Cake Mania you like, yeah. but this one has more, more, more strategy. Yeah. It's still your standard casual game. I'm not going to call it a girl game. <laughs> All right? Even though many we'll women love the game, <laughs> like many you. women do tend to buy this game. Like Yuzo? Yes. <laughs> But uh, it's a lot of fun. It's it's very casual. It's pick up and play. Pay for ten minutes. Play for a half an hour. Nice. Whatever. It's a lot of fun. Cool. I, uh, recommend. I will borrow that from you. I want to check it out. Yeah, yeah definitely. Uh, last game. I don't want to talk too much about it because it sucks. Yeah. I don't. What the hell was I thinking? Didn't you hate the other Death I Junior game? I hated it. So you I was played like, it again. Yes. So I played the Death Junior game on the PSP a long time ago. I'm like, this piece of garbage sucked. <laughs> and then I saw Death Junior, and I'm like. Uh, I'll check it out. I, I, dude, I took one for the team. Yeah. So Death Junior and the Science Fair of Doom, it is pretty much very similar to the other one, but you know what? Here, here's the thing, right? You take a DS game, you put it in 3D. Doesn't you take work. a DS game, you make a combination of movement and fighting, both the stylus and the controls. Oh! So you, you get man. those two combinations, oh. and it's just like, it's all screwed up. So It's, it's just like our review for Spyro. 
Same yeah, thing. Yeah, and this was worse than Spyro. Oh, man. Yeah. That Spyro on DS was terrible. So don't even play that Pac-Man. <laughs> Remember that Pac-Man 3D one? Did you play that one? No, you played it. I didn't oh, play it. Was God. It, was it bad? Oh, God. <laughs> There's all these 3D games on the DS are so oh, bad. I can't have been as bad as Mech Warrior. Uh, that oh, one was yeah. so bad. <laughs> right. So anyhow, this one's really terrible. Don't don't bother. I can for the team. Boop. Thumbs down. All right, that's a hell of a lot of games. You played dude. a lot of games this week. Dude, that's like half an hour of getting new games. I was gonna say it's like the half the podcast. All right, mm-hmm. so new releases. There is also a crapload of new releases. Dude, what the hell? I thought this was like the doldrums. Well, here's the thing. What? Oh, not what? so many good new releases. <laughs> There's a lot of new releases. <laughs> not new releases. There's um, only maybe one or two that I'm excited about. Yeah, so let me go first. Monster Madness. Um, we talked about We've this. talked about this many times. We did not like the demo one bit. No. We will not be playing the full purchase no. game. No, I will not be playing this game. I don't even know if I'll rent it. I probably I might. won't even rent it. I might. The mechanics were just awful. It should have been an arcade game. The fact that it's a retail game is insulting. Dude, if, it was a, if it was an arcade game, I would have no problems playing 10 bucks for it. I would have. You what? You didn't like no, the no, game but, at all. No, I, would, I didn't like the game at sixty bucks. This game was. You like, didn't like the demo at free. <laughs> <laughs> you can't say that you you you're just you're just ah uh, you just want it to be like that old game that you liked. I know. <laughs> I do. This game was not. I fun. want zombies eat my neighbors. That game was not. Oh. Fun. Yeah, you're right. So anyway, Monster Mad- maybe maybe use it or rent it. I will not. Uh, yeah, it comes not. out both 360 and PC. Yeah. Um, I don't know if it's going to be a games for Windows with achievements. Uh, right, right. I wouldn't even play it for achievements, probably. I hated that game. Yeah, it was pretty. It was another one of those ones where the combat was terrible and it just felt floaty. Yeah. Oh, so floaty. It was like uh, all the all the furniture was just kind of floating around and all that. Yeah. Uh, we've talked about it before. So yeah. So no, no on that. Keep your eyes um, out on it. What Forza oh, Two? Oh, so Forza Motorsport Two is out. I believe it came out yesterday. Oh. And it is, or today, and uh, it is a driving game. We talked about the demo previously. This is one of those things where it's a driving simulator. Yeah. And uh, I think, like you said... Wait, what is it? It's a driving simulator. <laughs> <laughs> I think you should take a drink for that. <sighs> yeah. For snoring? Oh, that was part of the drinking game. That was part of the drinking game. All right. Um, but before the motorsport, I think you had said, "Where's the fucking guns?" <laughs> That's what I'm saying. That's what I say about every racing game. If it has guns, oh hey, burnout was good. That didn't have guns. Yeah, but you could drive into an entire street full of oh, explosive but trucks. But yeah, but in this game, you can also run into other cars. But yeah. you know what happens? You lose time. God damn it. It's too bad. So, yeah, this is one of those realistic ones. You get, like, 13 tracks, a bunch of real ones, a bunch of known ones. You get 5 billion cars. You can tune them. Mm. You can kind of, like, change the tires. Mm. You can um, do Oh, the change the tires. That yeah. sounds awesome. Yes. Can you paint them different colors? Um, yeah, you can. Wow! <laughs> you can put a spoiler on the back? Fuck that game. <laughs> okay. So, moving on. Crush. Moving on. Crush. Uh, I did not play this game, but um, you checked it, or you saw the video, or something, right? They were doing a demo of it at PAX. No, no, no. At GDC. GDC. At GDC, they gave a, a demo movie of it, and it looks fantastic. So, it's kind of like, think uh, think the new like Mario. The, uh, Super Paper Mario. Super Paper Mario, yeah. where you could uh, go from 3D to 2D, except... This will let you do it from any direction. So it likes both two directions, right? So you get a flat. So you're looking, so yeah. you're looking top, kind of top angle down. Yeah. In 3D mode. So it's 3D mode. You're running around, and then all of a sudden, so but then you can move the camera to the side, and you're like, okay, and now make it 2D. It Boom! The whole world crushes into oh, 2D. Gotcha, gotcha. And then, but then also you can make it 3D, and then you can swing up above the guy and be like, okay, crush it. Boom! 2D. It's flat. Flat. Yeah, okay, so it's like a gotcha. puzzly, you know. And it seems very puzzly. It's almost kind of like it reminds me a lot of uh, what was that one? Portal. Yeah. Where it's just one level after one level. Yeah. I think you have to either get to the end or pick up some stuff. Basically. Just standard puzzle stuff. So, uh, but it, but what, what console is it on? Uh, the PSP. So. I don't know how I got stuck doing the review for this game because I don't have a PSP. I'm not getting a PSP. I won't be playing a PSP. But, um, but I have a PSP, and I will actually give this a try. So I have not played my PSP in maybe you see, like, five months. Pulling it out from the drawer, yeah, blowing out the like, dust. Charging the battery because yeah. <laughs> it's like, I miss you, Yuzo. <laughs> I have to update the firmware again. Yeah. It's just got to do all that stuff. So, so I will give the give things a try because... This is the first game I've been excited about. That's kind of one of the things. You well, know you got to bring it. I want to see it. So you got to bring yeah. it in. I want to check it out. Yeah, um, yeah, definitely give it a try. Just like we did with Ratchet. Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, so. Another great game crippled by a <sighs> shitty platform. This one. Why couldn't they release? Oh, backport that Ratchet to PS2 <laughs> so I can play it. Well, hey, you know you, they did that with uh, Liberty City Stories and Vice City Stories. They did it on the PSP first and they put it on the PS2. Please. They should. Please. I want a new Ratchet game. It's been so long. Was the, la- the last one was like over two years oh, ago. At now. least. Well, you get to just wait till November. 
You gotta buy a PS3 to get it. I know. Son of I'm gonna probably buy mine in August or September, dude. I I'm think I will. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, so okay, all it's of about you guys time. who are so mad that we never review PS3 games, it's coming. It's coming. Because as soon as the, the critical dude, mass remember, hit. Dude, remember Uncharted? Did you see that video? Oh my god. Holy you guys, crap. you guys need to go out and check out the video oh. for Uncharted. It's on YouTube. Yeah, we'll um, put some links on the show notes. Oh my man. good oh lord! Oh my god! It's fantastic. Sony Computer Entertainment, so hey, yeah. it's an exclusive. Yeah, and it's gonna be AAA. Yes. Uh, so let's get through these. Uh, we have Crush. So I will be playing that. Um, I'll yep. let Tobin Murrow give it a try. Next up is Shadowrun. Yeah, Shadowrun. I'm having a hard time getting excited Dude, about. Dude, you were excited about it until you saw the videos. You I know. shouldn't have saw the videos. Well, here's the thing: is my buddies and I used to play the Shadowrun RPG when I was sure, young. Yeah, it was. It's a fun game. Cyberpunk? Yeah. Um, um, kind of mystical. So crap. this game is just basically Unreal Tournament with some gadgets. I think it's more like Counter-Strike with gadgets, because you get to buy stuff in between rounds. All right. So it's very similar. Where how well you do, you get money, and you get money to buy. I guess, I mean, the reason what makes me think about Unreal Tournament is because if you look, the controls look kind of squishy. Like, mm, What do you mean? Well, I mean, Counter-Strike is very exact. It's very, it's very sharp. You know, like uh, it's very reactive. Okay. And Unreal Tournament was a little bit more squishy with the movements. Well, yeah, okay. I can see that. Yeah, yeah. Um, and this, so I mean, you know, it, uh, I'm watching the videos and it's like there's some kind of cool things. There's like these things where you jump up in the air and you can kind of like teleport. Yep. You have and gliding. And gliding. You have a you lot got of some wings. That you come can out. like you can reincarnate people on your team if you yeah. have a special you know ability. I mean, it looks like if they balance it right, the gameplay it could itself cool. could save it. But you're right, the graphics are ugly. Um, you're really ugly. It doesn't <laughs> really ugly. Well, here's the thing. As I was watching the trailers, I noticed that the graphics switched back and forth between kind of ugly and really ugly. I wonder if they did uh, the PC versus Xbox and 360. So or I think you mean 360 PC. I think that 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 uh, that yeah. Th I think that the 360 graphics look a little crappier, and then the PC ones look I can see sharper. That. I mean, yeah. If you just you know throw a couple of dual SLI yeah. machines. So I think personally, if, if I get it, which I think I will, um, I will get the PC version. But yeah. what I'm worried about is I think they said it's they Vista don't Vista only. I, yeah, Vista only. I have to upgrade to Vista. I was yeah. gonna do it this weekend anyways. But I'm worried because I was re hearing some interviews from some of the guys and they're saying that they didn't want to give the PC any advantage because they were using mouse and keyboard. Ooh. So they made it made you like, really inaccurate? I don't know. They just made they they said they did something to the mouse and keyboard so that it's not as Ooh. I wonder if something. they made the weapons weaker for PC guys. <laughs> <laughs> when they made the targeting reticle. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, but I'm worried. But you know, I think this is going to be one of those ones that I should give a try. All right, and well, you we give it a shot. I'm, I'm not all that interested, honestly, but maybe uh, maybe I'll rent it. Because uh, I can't rent on the PC is the problem. Well, you can rent on 360, though. So yeah, yeah, well, yeah. You, you should do the 360. We so can do the versus, versus, yeah. So you should look for fun. at least. You still, do you still have Blockbuster? Yeah. Okay, cool. All right, so you, uh, it just, I just I don't care that much about Unreal Tournament. It's just like, I like missions. I like... A world but you to like Counter Strike. I do. No, I, mean, I like I like Counter Strike. That's yeah. true, but I don't play it very often. That's true. I like adventure games. I really do. Did I you like miss out on the Counter Strike session we had? No, 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 I played. Oh, you did play. Okay, yeah. cool. Yeah, because I kicked your ass. Nothing. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah. What's one. this game that you're gonna play? I'm this? gonna play this. G okay. So I used to, I had a Tamagotchi back when I was in high school, and I loved it. It was just like, it was on a little chain, you go around and you feed it, and you give whatever. Mm -hmm. So I was like, yeah. oh, cool, we're making a Tamagotchi you game. On the, oh, God. Like 12 in here. <laughs> okay. In here. I'm 12. Um, so they got a Tamagotchi game on the Wii. I'm like, oh, cool, Tamagotchi. Oh, it'd be kind of fun. Apparently they made one for the DS, and I never played it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and a couple, I think. So... And then I was reading the reviews for it, and they're like, unfortunately, they didn't include a little mini creature in the game. I was like, wait, that's what a Tamagotchi is. But is that something you'd want on a Wii? I mean, sure. I can see it, be, I see it being on a Wii. I like DS the idea of like, the feeding it and the. But you, you really know. just turn on your Wii, pop in the disc. Well, I'm just saying, like, you could level it up from the mini games. You could, you know, yeah, I guess choose so. a life path for it, make Sounds it evil like or good. You should play Pokemon then, or something. <laughs> Maybe I, that's more. Did they make a fun Pokemon? Because um, the one I played was shit. Yeah, no, no. Hey, but they have Pokemon Battle Revolution coming out, which is just the fighting part. I don't like the fighting part because <laughs> you get to choose four attacks. <laughs> Fuck that. <laughs> So, uh, so anyway, yeah. so it's a bunch of mini games. Uh, depending on the quality of the mini games, it could be fun or not. It's kind of a board game with mini games mm -hmm. like Mario Party, which gets kind of tedious. Mm -hmm. um, I can't imagine it being fun by yourself. Well, it all depends on the quality of the games, right? It, it, you, if you do the kind of like Rayman style games, like those were actually kind of good. Me. And then you know, there's there's a lot of ones that have come out for the Wii where it's a lot more childlike. I have stupid. a feeling this one's going to be very childlike, and it's been getting terrible reviews. But hey, yeah. we'll give it a try I'll and um, it. check it out. Uh, Mad Tracks. Mad Tracks. Track. So this is, uh, I think, the first week in a while where we only had one game released on Xbox Live Arcade. Yeah. And I was checking out the videos for this, and this 
it looks like to me like a Mario Kart kind of. It, it's more like uh, what are those little mini um, cars? Remember those? Uh, uh, Matchbox. Matchbox racer slash. Oh, uh, you know. Those yeah. Those small freaking uh, cars. Uh, micro machines. Micro machines. So yeah. micro machines uh, racers because you're you know your little tiny bug. Hey, that sounds cars. great. We should do online multiplayer. Yeah, that'll be awesome. But guess what? You can't. Oh, you, you get dummies. Four. Four screen, a uh, four multiplayer split screen mode. It's 2007, motherfucker. Yeah, I know. It's not freaking 1998. Any game like this needs to have online multiplayer. But you why is it now? So I'm not. I'm gonna play. We're gonna play the trial because yeah. it's just there. It's free. But we'll try the trial. But here's the thing. I mean, I can tell you right now. If this game, I mean, from from the from the previews that we saw, you know, it'll be ten bucks or more. It'll be ten bucks or more. Um, but. If this, I mean, it looked kind of cool. Yeah. So it if, this like had been, if this had had online multiplayer, we would have probably organized some noob tubers, get people on IRC, get them together, play Dude, some games. Shit, man! If three fucking Microsoft interns can make a game with four player co op, yeah. Why yeah, can't an industrial company with at least one or two people yeah. working full time, not yeah. students? You got outcoded by interns. That's pretty you shit. Did shit. <laughs> That's pathetic. <laughs> That's absolutely pathetic. So we probably will not be buying this because of the lack of online multiplayer, but we'll try the demo and come back to you. Yeah. I mean, um, it might be fun. I mean, if it's fun enough, we'll, we'll play the trial a lot. Yeah. Yeah, yeah but it's not going to be worth 10 bucks. Probably not. Last game up is Mario Wars. Party 8. So you already played a little bit of this, but we're going to like do a preview. Yeah. So we'll definitely talk about it. But what is Mario Party 8? Uh, it is a board game. You go around and hop on different levels of the board, and then at the end of each turn, you play uh, mini games against each other. Oh, cool! So, how many people is it? A uh, four, four, four person. Four person. Um, the good. the the fault of of Mario parties in the past has been overly juvenile. Mm. Really, really, really juvenile. Simple games. Simple games. Um, and we'll we'll see if this has the same fault. I I okay. get the bad feeling that it will. I kind of do too, and I think I'd like to get it or maybe rent it next time. I think I was going to have a lot of people over. Yeah, I was going to well, I was going to say. However, if you have any kids thirteen or under, mm. I bet that this is just showstopper. Dude, people at parties. love this game. A like lot adults. of people uh, like casual gamers. Okay. Casual yeah. gamers do love yeah. this game. It's a good party yeah. game, and a lot of people get into it. But we'll talk about. Yeah, we'll, we'll do the yeah. full review because it's a pretty huge game. Game it like you're waiting to die. <laughs> <laughs> that is the next week's games. Holy crap! There's a lot, and I think lot, the only one I'm people. excited about is Shadowrun. Yeah, and, and the only one I'm excited about is uh, Crush. None. Crush. Even Crush, huh? I well, I mean, I'm excited about Crush. If you bring it in, I'll take it from you. <laughs> like, over there. Right. What's that over there? Oh. oh! So yeah, I'm not all that excited. We got a whole bunch of games, and like like user was saying earlier today, kind of dumping grounds right now. We're getting a yeah. lot of things where it's like there's there's some diamonds in the rough. Very few though. Very but few. you got you got to pick for them. Luckily, you've got a really cool gaming podcast that you listen to every week right. that, that finds the uh, the shit that is not shit. Yeah, and hey, we're having a Halo two. Yeah, seriously, what's up? Dude, I think it got delayed again. Yeah. You know why? You know why? Well, because it's only been done for eight years. <laughs> No, get this. You want to know why? Why? Apparently one of the error messages has a big man ass. It just got through QA, they found it, and they recalled everything. <laughs> what the hell? I bet that programmer got in so much trouble. Oh my god, can you believe how much money they must have lost to actually reburn all the discs? Wow. Wow. <laughs> Hot coffee all over again. It's kinda. <laughs> Except man ass. <laughs> yeah, it's better than man cannon. Yeah, that's true. That would be a lot worse. But um, okay. Yeah, so that'll be next week, I'm sure. So what do we got? Some site news. Oh, site news. So we have the new Starcraft. So so remember we talked about uh, Sunflower saying, "Hey, everybody, go, go start playing games, do all this stuff." And guess what? People have actually People been, been playing. playing. Games. You guys rule. This is one of the things that I really wanted to see with the NoobTube community is just to come together, get a lot of people that love games, and just play yeah. games. And you it's awesome. I mean? You guys like coordinated on the forums, coordinated on IRC. Hopped online, you guys played uh, StarCraft against each other, and... And they Storm. recorded it. Smokestorm X recorded it and oh, edited it. Oh, it looks so good. Dropped it up on uh, on YouTube, so he posted it on the forums. We're going to post it here in the show notes, so you guys can go click on yeah, it. Definitely it's an epic cool. battle. I know. It's you like had, a nine-minute battle. I think, like, wait, who was this? So Smokestorm was in it, I think... Um, Sunflower was in Sunflower it. Sunflower was in it. Korean Pimper, Yeah, I believe, and one other guy. Jadis. Yeah, Jadis. Yeah, Jadis. Yeah. Jadis. So uh, it's kind of an epic battle. You kind of see like it's awesome. You see a little like first Zergling rush. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and there's like all the little, you know, like the the guys that the uh, the 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 guys that can actually hide under the ground and like do the uh, fucking sabotage. The, the, the hydralisks or yeah. something like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So they have a whole. I mean, he does it. He really and he kind did, of spells and he out the whole battle. He didn't do the whole battle. No. Like uh, he like kind of took snippets well, and yeah. then subtitled them. Yeah. So it's like you know nine minutes and it's actually a really good watch. You should yep. definitely check it out and go to the forums and then go check out the the link. And if you have StarCraft Brood Wars. 
Go play. People are people are loving um, it. So you do you have StarCraft Blue Wars? Uh, I gotta check. I have StarCraft. Because I, I not you're not you're not gonna play it. So if you if you find it, you I'm, tell me. So yeah. Me. So yeah, yeah. I want to check it out. I don't want to beat down some uh, noob tube ass. Hell yeah! Okay, so voicemails. Mm-hmm. Uh, first up is King Kaze. Yeah. Oh, hey, NoobTube, it's Kinkaze calling you from my end game. <laughs> and I was just wondering what you guys uh, thought about uh, the Dead Rising Platinum Edition coming out and how it's supposed to have co-op. Okay, thanks. Dude, so Ken, Ken Kaze, when you, when you talk... You're end game? Do you, do you, side, do you side talking? talking? I'm side talking. <laughs> Engage. Hello? <laughs> Hello? <laughs> Hello? Oh my god, that's ridiculous. I, can't, I, I don't know anybody with <laughs> Engage. Yeah. That's hilarious. Kenkaze. I guess. It's the only um, one. What games do you play? So, Dead Rising Platinum. Yeah, I this is... I don't see the point. So, so, okay, so Tobin does not like Dead Rising, but I posted an amazing essay. Go to the forums and look for uh, Dead Researcher Dead Rising. I posted yeah. an amazing essay on why Dead Rising is awesome and why Tobin is wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds impossible. Um, so if you read that, check it out. But they uh, so so. But this thing is the Dead Rising Platinum Edition. So yeah. they have the Platinum Hits Edition in Japan. Okay. Which is kind of like the so what do you get? What's Platinum? What do you get? Uh, well, it's all rumors, so I'm not really sure. Uh, but you have a lot of download. You have a lot of new extras. I think new costumes, anything like that. But get this. Dude. Wait, can I download more save points? I think. <laughs> <laughs> You don't understand the game. You are incapable of understanding the That's genius true. behind the That's lack of save points. That's true. Uh, so, <laughs> but but I think what they're saying is that they're going to actually make it so you can do online co-op. That'd be hot. So would you play the game? Would yes, you rent I would. It? Would you rent it and then download the... I still own it. You still own it? Don't I? I Did thought I buy bought it? it. I thought I bought it. Maybe I, maybe I rented it. Because I bought it and I sold it already. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, I finished it. Maybe I thought I bought it. Maybe I didn't. All right. So anyway, so we, we should... We should rent it. If it's got online it. co-op, I'll totally try it But with here's you. the thing. So if you get the Platinum Edition, you get it for free. Mm. But if you don't have a Platinum Edition, you have to buy it. The download so you're going to buy the Platinum it. Edition? I, I thought you love this game. So I do. Much. No, I do. It's I so love good. It. I love it a lot. But it's just like uh, I got to find somebody to play with. <laughs> so what <laughs> happens if you? I mean, okay. So online co-op's already a rumor anyway. We don't. Know and it's, it's all a rumor. The whole Platinum Edition but is a rumor. What would happen? I mean, like if it had online co-op and it's like Gears of War, where one of you dies and the other one can bring you back, then that would roll. Mm-hmm. Oh, the other one. No, even better. The other one dies and turns into a zombie. <laughs> <laughs> but 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 be able to resurrect your buddy would 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 make the game a lot more fun to me. I don't like mm. the whole idea. Of so dying. you you have the frustration of just dying too fast. A yeah. lot of the survivors and yeah. all that. Stuff. So I don't know how they're going to do this. And personally, I think everybody's full of shit because there's no confirmation. It was shown in the rumor column of EGM. Mm. So I, we'll wait to hear more. We'll wait, wait to hear more. We'll but wait. the Dead Rising Two better have online co-op. That's all I got to say. Yeah. All right. Next up is Jam and Slaver. Hey YouTube, this is Jam and Slaver. Um. This week, my question is about range. Uh, we we don't really know much about him except that uh, he has a couch and a house. So you know, do, does he like games? Uh, does he play with you guys on on Xbox Live? Uh, you know what? Okay, so uh, and this is for last week. Yo! <laughs> That's a good man, Jam and Slaver. So range is kind of like kind of like a Yeti. Yeah, you so know, we've he's got one, just one, one instance of him showing up on film. I, it, it was our. Our, uh, our, 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 our GDC episode. Our GDC episode at his house, and he tackles you. He tackles me <laughs> at the very end. There's like there's like two seconds of footage of range, and that's the only the you only can, video footage never of range. So, but let's describe him a little bit. He's uh he's gargantuan in yeah. size. He's yeah. like a titan. Yeah, and, and um, he can like eight hold feet tall. Like eight beers in one hand, and, and, and then eight the on the other, time. and he goes like this. Uh, it's, it's amazing yeah. his skills. Uh, yeah. He's like maybe you know three hundred pounds, but like pure Something. like rock solid, ah, muscle. solid yeah. muscle. Um, he's he's scary. <laughs> yeah. So here's a, here's a weird thing, right? So when Range does push-ups, yeah, he actually doesn't push himself up. He pushes the earth that's down. <laughs> that's I heard that. Yeah, you hear you that? You know what? Something you know. Range doesn't wait. Or oh, sorry. Shit. <laughs> 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 range doesn't sleep. He waits. <laughs> Fuck. Wait. I so suck. here's the thing, though, because Range doesn't actually ever get frostbite. He bites <laughs> frost. <laughs> No, he, you know he has two speeds. Yeah, walk and kill. Oh man, he sounds oh, pretty scary. He's very scary. I would watch out for range. <laughs> so that's it. Yeah, that's no, but you know, yeah, he's a play mysterious games? man. He plays game. He plays Counter Strike. Yeah. So we're gonna try to invite him to Counter Strike, and he will uh, own pwn some noobs. Yeah, we'll see how that goes. So uh, that's all you get on range. Mm-hmm. 
Um, Muddy V1 called in. Is that like Muddy 6? What's going on, boys? I was wondering if you could help me out. I want to get a PS3, but it's going to be six, seven months before I can get that son of a bitch. Well, I was wondering if I should get a 360, which I can get in two months' time, and then wait a year or two before the PS3 is dropped in price. Give me a hell yeah if I should get a 360. Hell yeah! I'm going to the and shoot some nerve. And that's the bottom line, cause new dude sits out! A little homage to Stone Cold. Yeah. <coughs> so, for those WWE fans. Well, I don't understand what he's saying. He said he can get a 360 in two months. Is, is he saying, like, saving up for it, maybe? I think so. So he maybe has a choice to get a 360 and a PS3, or, yeah. or a PS3, because he doesn't have enough to cover both, which is, yeah. like, which is reasonable. So, his PS3 is freaking expensive. We're not going to belabor this point, because we've talked about it many times mm-hmm. before. You and I both feel that the 360 is great now, because there's a bunch of games on it. A lot and of then, cheap games too, and they're they're getting cheap. Um, and there's you know that all the, the the whole online previews. Oh hell yeah, Xbox Live Arcade, you know cheap everything. It's, it's it's awesome. It's a great console. Um, but the PS3 is like a breaking Ooh, wave. It's looking pretty good. It's come like November, yeah. huh? So around around uh, October November, there is this wave of games that we will be immediately mm. buying the PS3 for. So, uh, but even then, we already have a 360. So if yeah. we didn't have a 360. Right, mm-hmm, like mm-hmm. if you had to make a choice, like like if your choice was to wait until like I don't know, like August and get a PS3, but not get the 360, or get the 360 now, what would you do? I, I still I say still the 360 s- for I still now, because I think it will be another year, maybe after. Yeah. N- sorry, 2008, maybe Christmas 2008. Where it's got the depth of games. It's got the depth. Yeah, exactly. PS3 is going to be like a real contender in the, yeah. the quality of the games. I mean, it will do it. PS3 is here for the long haul. It is. Like it's going to be a 10-year console. Yeah. So, uh, but get the 360 now because the 360 has a bunch of platinum hits, yeah. which are really cheap. Bunch of arcade games. Bunch of, a huge bunch of like Catan, yeah. Geometry Wars. It's going to be an amazing set of games. Yeah, that is how I feel as well. Um, mm-hmm. So next one up is Diego 91. Yes, the Mexican living in Japan. The Mexican from Japan. Yes. Hello YouTube, this is Diego 91 from the farms calling from Tokyo, Japan. Anyways, I'm so pissed off. Before I came to Japan, I got an, a Mexican Xbox 360 on Mexican launch which was 500 US, like mm. a month later than US launch, and still was pretty happy with it. But I was checking on the US and Mexican Xbox sites and found out that we have only 41 arcade games and the US has 63. So mm. my point is, after we, re- we get raped with the price and get consoles later, now we also get screwed with the content. Region locking is lame. And there's no excuse. They made it good with DS and PSP. Even if you can't get the game on your country, you can still import it. Those motherfuckers. By the way, <laughs> I sent you some maps so he knows where is Japan. No! I know where Japan is! Look at these eyes! Dude, he these totally eyes? did though. He totally attached his email on Map of the World with with Japan uh, highlighted because Yuzo's got bad geography. Whatever! Skills. I know where freaking Japan is! Come on, I don't know where like Bolivia is. <laughs> Jesus freaking Christ. Or Netherlands for them. Yeah. So region locking is fucking stupid, it and is. honestly, I can't figure out the math behind well, we, it. We already explained. I mean, we were talking about region locking maybe like 10 episodes ago, but yeah. the reason is because of marketing. Yeah. Because they want to have launches in different areas. They want to like use the money so that they hit certain areas, so they have to make sure there's no gray market. But to offer to so that. many less games is just so weird. You know? It and costs money to translate. It costs yeah. money to ship. So, I mean, there's a financial reason why companies try to do this. But when things hit but the US and they don't hit England... That's just ridiculous. You know, but that's the thing. It's just like if you're going to try to release a game, there's a financial reason for this. You yeah. got to spend the money for marketing. You got to buy commercials. You got to buy yeah. ad print. You got to do it, and you can't do it all at once. I think is the, the main problem. But you could put you could put at least the arcade games up on Xbox Live Arcade. Yeah, you you'd can. think. You <laughs> think. think. You think. Apparently, that's a little too hard for some yeah. people. So yeah, you're getting dicked. Yeah, it's unfortunate. <clears throat> no um, two ways around it. But you know, hey, what can you do? There's a couple of things you can do. You can try to uh, unlock your box yeah. for to be able to play imports. Right. Um, you can buy a U.S. one or buy the. Generally, if you're going to buy a console from the U.S., you should buy that. You should buy the Japanese one potentially for that one. Right. If you can be Japanese. Right. Yeah. So I mean, it's more expensive. <clears throat> what they've said. I mean, like we. I don't know if they've if they've locked this hole down yet. But you and I have several times in the past made a new. Um, Hotmail account. They locked it. Oh, yeah. So you can Yeah, you, okay, you, so you, you were can't able to say demos. you were from a different area. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. So, so I would say I would say your best bet is to just go ahead and buy a U.S. Xbox. An import. An import. That's yeah. So sell it. You should be able to sell your Xbox in Japan real easy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I would sell it on the U.S. eBay. Yes. Um, <laughs> a Mexican Xbox. 
Okay, Mexico. Like, yeah, yeah. Maybe we'll go right. back to Mexico. Uh, we were talking about. You kind of got fucked. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> sorry. Um, next up is Omega. Yeah, we gotta get, get it going. I know. <laughs> this is Omega. I have a wager for Tobin. How about if Spore comes out before Q3 2008, Tobin has to come to a show in drag. And if it doesn't come out before Q3 2008, then I have to send him a check for 50 cents. <laughs> What? What kind of deal is this? The worst deal I've ever heard. I think to Tobin being in drag for an entire show is worth a little more than 50 cents. 50 cents, yeah. That's a great idea. <laughs> but I agree with Omega in the sense of I believe Spore will be coming out before quarter three. So we're talking July 1st. July 1st, 2008. So this is a we're long way out. Year. We're talking within a year from pretty soon. Yeah. Spore will be in store shelves. And I believe that to be true. All right. What right. do you think? No. So I I say that there's no fucking way that Spore is going to come out before July 1st, 2008. And you're thinking likely probably Christmas or something. I'm thinking. Okay. So you know why? Because it's the game that does not exist. It, dude, we've seen all the demos. Vaporware. It's, it's all there. You see yeah. more of that than you do uh, Duke Nukem, and that is what I say. So yeah. I'm going to take that bet. All right. And you know what we're going to do? Shirts. Shirts. For the entire episode, and maybe even all day. At all work. day. <laughs> all day. Yeah, wear a shirt. I if if Yuzo's right, I'll wear a shirt that says Yuzo was right. <laughs> and he's got to wear a shirt that says Tobin was right. If he wins. Now, and I was is, wrong. <laughs> this is going to be fucking year, either a year from now or when Spore comes out. Yeah. Right? That's, that's, that's so Spore comes out soon, this will happen soon. But I mean, like, you, you guys that are faithful <laughs> listeners realize this is a long fucking way off. Yeah. But if by July 1st, 2008, it hasn't come out yet, we'll be on NoobTube episode, like, 120. <laughs> At least. Um, <clears throat> and if it, you know, if, if we haven't been, you know, hit by a truck by then... We uh, user will have to wear that shirt, and if it comes out before then, I'll have to wear the shirt saying user was right, and then I'll put in little text at the bottom for the first time ever. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's not part of the bet. <laughs> I can write whatever I want on my damn shirt. <laughs> All right, so yeah, hey, we got to get going, so let's uh, go through these things real quick. We have listener homework. I think we'll have more details, but it's going to be about does knowledge of how games work uh, affect the way you play games, and it's yeah. kind of like more like I guess what surprised you recently, I and mean, yeah. that's kind of the spin on this, right? So yeah, it, it kind of comes down to you know the big the big question I think is very interesting is when's the last time a game surprised you? Like you, you've got all this knowledge about games from the past that you've exactly. played, you know about the writing code, whatever. When's the last time you played a game? You're like, oh my god, I didn't think that was possible. This is awesome. Exactly. So yeah, we'll we'll have more details. Definitely check the boards and look for the listener homework and do your homework. Do your homework. Uh, right. Retro Gaming Club it's is still, still Super Smash, Smash Brothers. Brothers Melee. I have not tried People it yet. People are having a trip with that, man. Jeez, I know. They're talking about all sorts of crazy stuff. I have no idea what they're talking about when they say all these special moves, yeah. but we will get them tracked. That is one of the most active posts on our forums. At least. So go check it out. Uh, go check out the forums. Yeah, and, and talk about Smash Brothers. Hell yeah. I think that is the end. Oh my god. We have reached the end. We have reached the end. All right, that is our show for the week. Please check out our website at noobtube.com. That's N W O B T W O. B.com and uh, go to our forums by clicking the forums tab on the top of the page. Also, please call into our voicemail at 1 888 233 8480 and leave us a message. If you're overseas, send us an MP3 or to feedback at newtube.com and be featured on the show. Be like Jamie Slaver. That's right. Jamie Slaver rules with this amazing quality show. And, and his weird British. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, also be sure to subscribe to our audio and video podcast in iTunes right up the front page. We got links right down there. If you want Watching this video on YouTube, there's a subscription link. Ha! Click it. And if there's, and if you want to rate the video, which you do, click it right here. Five stars on my junk. Um, we also have a MySpace profile for NoobTube. Add us as friends. You'll get the uh, videos every week, updates. You know, more friends. Hell yeah! Um, Everybody needs more friends. Pin Man's been doing a good job updating. Yeah, good job, man. So um, um, that is it for this episode. I am Tobin Desire. I am Yuzu Watanabe, and audio engineering is in my range. Norris Strunk. Mm. Oh, we love you, dude. Thank you for listening. We'll see you next week. We're out. Well, that's the problem. Is it doesn't it doesn't oh. stop. Fuck. Oh, dude. Oh no. Oh. Oh no! Oh no! I, I deleted. I deleted. No! Oh fuck me! I have room. What did I do that for? I don't know. Ah! Rolling, rolling, rolling. <laughs> Keep them doggies rolling. Rolling, rolling. Roll high. Roll high. <laughs>